Hello YouTube. So a couple weeks ago I found this smaller version of the Back to the Future car by Jada Toys. At opening doors, um, all plain black interior. Has a couple, you know, good details on the back. Um, but I was waiting for the larger car to come out. And if you do get a chance, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, maybe hit the like button. See if you can help me build this channel up. Uh, two nights ago. I found the larger, I guess the 124 scale Back to the Future car for sale online and went ahead and bought it and it said that it would arrive on the 20th to them and it should get to me by the 22nd of this month. But tonight, Ricky and I were out at Walmart and stopped in the toy aisle to check for Transformers and Hot Wheels and what do you know? They actually had them in stock. So. This one has the hover wheels, it has the lights, um, I don't know if does these go away for a second, you can actually see that it actually has a different colored bumper, uh, like the real car did. So the uh, most of the body is looks like it's die cast, but it looks like the front bumper and possibly even the rear might be plastic. I'll go ahead and get this out of the box and I'll get it a review on it. So a couple things here um, on the smaller version. It's just it's all black interior. Uh, there's no stickers or anything painted on the dash. No side mirrors um, on this one. There is no emergency brake on the bigger version. It actually does have an emergency brake, and it's almost a two-tone interior. You've got a black steering wheel, black shifter, black emergency brake. Um, you do have. If I can get in there and zoom in. The dashboard has gauges on it. Um, the time circuits do have stickers. I don't know if you can see that in there. Otherwise, it's all gray. On the dash itself, you can see the wires are imprinted on there, but they're not separate. Um, one thing that's kind of disappointing, and it's not a huge thing, but although it has what would be the flux capacitor, um, it's just kind of a an imprint in the plastic. There's there's not even a doesn't appear to be even like a plastic uh, lighter plastic cover. And it'd be nice if when you hit the button if it lit up. But all in all, not a not a bad not a bad flaw, I guess. Um, the body itself is die cast, and then these are a different color, like the real car, which I think is kind of neat. Let me pick that up. The wheels, they do flip under for the hover conversion. Uh, just like the other car, it's got a, quite a bit of detail on the back. You got your Mr. Fusion. Once again, the, what you call them, but these back here are black on the smaller one and they're black on this. And I do remember, I thought they were same color metal in the in the movie, but I could be wrong. Yeah, Mr. Fusion. I'm gonna go ahead and get this completely out of the box and get it on the ground. Alright, so here it is on the ground. All the wheels are pushed upward so it can roll. It does have similar type of wheels, um, rubber wheels on a, uh, it's like a plastic, sorry, rubber tires on a plastic wheel. It has a different color exhaust for the back. Uh, one thing I do really like is the door handle is actually kind of embedded in the, in the metal along with the keyhole. Uh, one thing I do notice on this is that unlike a lot of the other bigger versions, Nothing opens up here, and there's nothing back here, but the doors do open. In the interior, although there's not really a flux capacity, I mean, there there is, um, but uh, yeah, I just wish it lit up. But the seats look good. The, the dash overall looks pretty good. Um, these up here are just kind of, they're molded into the plastic. They're not, there's no stickers or anything on them. Uh, one thing on the front is there's no DMC logo, 
but you do have four separate lights on the back you do have the out of time license plate and red plastic tail lights and you can see the exhaust coming out and just like the front bumper the rear one is a different color than the rest of the car which I think is I really think is neat and then you have a lot you have some color back here to the the detail on the back and then this is your button for the lighting effect it looks like there's a light here here and then up front for the front ones it's a pretty good effect and then because of the larger model you do have the side mirrors the little reflector in there now I've seen some bigger ones um, for a whole lot more money that have a little more detail and the flux capacitor lights up uh, for $19 and I guess I'm out 40 for the two of them because I actually ordered one online and picked this one up tonight I'll have two of them um, it's really not bad and for the flip under wheels and and to have the all of the lighting effects on here for 20 bucks I think it's a pretty good bargain I do love the fact that it's a metal body and it just makes it feel more like that like the stainless steel on the ridge on the original and I do like the little handbrake and you got your gear shifter and your steering wheel with a couple little stickers in there I think once again Jada Toys kind of knocked it out of the park these little hoses here uh, they actually do move and if like a soft rubber pretty good job so now I've got the bigger version and I've got the smaller version so that's kind of your difference between a five dollar I think these are five or six at Walmart and this was 19 so I'm pretty glad I picked it up I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with two of them but maybe I can make two different displays or I don't know make one for a, a different movie and this one should be from uh, the number two movie the Back to the Future 2 when it had the hover conversion with Mr. Fusion. So I guess technically that was the end of number one also, but well, there you go. Like I said, if you have time, please hit that subscribe button and hit the like. And uh, I should have another car coming very soon in the mail to do a review on. Thank you.